Today I'm creating printable wall art in Canva, saving it in multiple sizes so my customers have options, and I'm going to upload it as an Etsy listing with the best keywords I could find for it. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so grab a coffee or a tea and you can follow along. Hi, I'm Sandra, and I help you create and sell your digital products online. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for more content like this every week. Let's start by hopping on to Canva. You can create printables for free using their free version, but if you do want access to their pro features, I have a 30 day free trial link in the description box below. So let's start by going to create a design on the top right corner here and click on custom size. So for this one, I'm going to create a 16 by 20 inch artboard, create new design. Now, just a reminder, I'm offering multiple sizes. So I'll pop up the size chart again. I actually include this as an image in the Etsy listing later, but right now I'm creating the 16 by 20 inches. That's under the four by five ratio. Now, this is the only one I'm creating under this column because when the customer receives this, they can scale this down to 12 by 15 inch, um, eight by 10 inch, because these are all the same width to height ratio. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. I'll explain it again when I create the second ratio size. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is add text. So I'm gonna click on text right here, click on add a heading, and I'm creating a positive affirmation printable. So I'm going to start by typing in some of the words that I want on here. So I want, I am worthy, I am loved. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to change the font by going up here and I'll choose this one. And I'm gonna change the size so I can change it by going up here um, or I can kind of drag these corners. Okay, and to make sure that I'm positioning this in the middle, I'm gonna to go to position, center. So now I wanna add some graphics up here and I've actually already downloaded a graphic from Creative Fabrica that I have a commercial license to. So Creative Fabrica is a great place for you to get fonts and graphics that you can use in your digital products. And right now I've actually partnered with them to allow you guys to have access for seven days for just $1 and you get unlimited access to their digital resources. And yes, this includes a commercial license. So like I mentioned, it's $1 for the first seven days. It does renew for $19 a month, but you can cancel at any time. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Now, just to show you how I found my graphic, I went into the search bar here and I typed in botanical leaf outline. So you just wanna type in some keywords of what you're thinking of adding to your product. And I think I downloaded, I think it was this one here, but there's a lot of different options. You can go through them. So if you click here, all you have to do is just click download. And what I do recommend you do is always read the commercial license. So when you click on this, it directs you to the commercial license terms and conditions. So I'll actually link that for you down below if you have any questions on how you're allowed to use these fonts and graphics. Now, once you've downloaded downloaded your graphics onto your computer, just go back to Canva and go to upload. And then you're gonna click on upload media so that you can bring in the graphic into your artboard. Now I've already done that right here. So this is the one I'm going to use. So I just clicked on it and it just shows up on my artboard. So I can change um, the size and I can kind of rotate it and play around with how I want this to look. Okay, so now I'm just gonna bring this down here. I'm also gonna add some color behind this and I created this blob um, in Adobe Illustrator, but you can find blobs like this uh, under Creative Fabrica as well. Um, you can create it yourself. And Canva actually has some free features. So if you go into elements here and you type in something like blob, I'm saying blob a lot, but there's a lot here that you can actually use. So I'm going to right click and send it to the back and I'm just going to flip it. So I went up to flip it here. I'm gonna flip it this way, rotate, and I'm going to make it lighter. So I'm gonna go up to transparency and let's change it to 60, just so that it's a little bit softer. Okay, so I'm going to just center all of this. Now, the last thing I wanna do is I'm actually just going to change the color of these words. So I'm just going to highlight it and go to text color. I'm gonna change it to this dark, nude pink or whatever that is, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to change all of these to this color. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to save it. So I'm gonna go to share at the top right, 
and go to download. Now, the tricky thing about Canva is that if you were to save it as a PNG or a JPEG, it doesn't save as 300 DPI. So it's not going to be high resolution, especially because you want the customers to get high quality products from you, right? So the highest quality that you can get from Canva is you wanna to go to PDF print. And it even says here it's best for printing. So we're gonna select that. And we're actually going to select CMYK, that's best for printing. And we're going to download it. Now, if you want to offer JPEG files, what I recommend you do is you can actually look up on Google something like convert PDF to high resolution JPEG. And there'll be multiple websites where you can drag in your PDF and it will convert it to a high resolution JPEG file. Just make sure you check the properties of your JPEG file after it's been downloaded to make sure that it's at least 300 DPI. So for this one, I'm going to offer it as PDF. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to resize at the top here because now I want to save it as a different size. So the next one I'm going to do is is 18 by 24 inches. Now back to my size chart. This is the three to four ratio. And this is the only one I'm creating for that one because again, this will be the same width to height ratio for all the other ones under that column. Now you'll also notice that this has a crown right beside it. You can only do this under the pro version. So if you want to create another size, I recommend going back to the home page go back to create a design and you can go 18 by 24 inches and then create a new design and then just copy all of the elements from your first artboard onto your new artboard and save that. So for this one, I'm going to use the resize pro feature and I'm just gonna click on resize and it automatically resized my artboard to 18 by 24. So I'm gonna go to share again. So same process, download. I'm gonna save it as a PDF print and I'm gonna hit download. Now I'm gonna do this for the two to three ratio, and then I'm going to save it as a five by seven inch, and then 11 by four inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then save it in a folder. The next thing I want to do is create pretty mock-ups for my Etsy listing images. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to share, and I'm actually going to save this as a JPEG file, and you'll see why. So I'm gonna download it as a JPEG, and then you'll see it downloaded here. So I'm actually just going to drag it in here because I'm saving it as an upload onto Canva. Now I'm gonna go back to the home page, go to create a design, custom size, and this time I'm going to change it to pixels. And Etsy recommends having images that are a minimum of 2000 pixels as the shortest side. So I'm just going to do 2000 by 2000 pixels, so it'll just be a square image. Okay, so I'm actually going to duplicate my page twice. So I've got three mockups that I'm going to create and you'll see how quickly um, you can do this. So I'm gonna go to uploads and I've already uploaded three mockups here. So I get all of my mockups from Creative Market, Shutterstock, Creative Fabrica and Pixabay. Okay, so I'm going to click and I'm just going to fit it nicely into these artboards. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that one looks good. And this is the way I like to do it. I just literally upload all of them at the same time, kind of fit them nicely into the artboard and then I will drag in the actual print. All right, now I want to fit my print onto the frame. So like I said, that's why you need the JPEG in your uploads. So I'm just gonna click on that and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just try to fit it in as nice as possible into your frame. So just line it up as best you can. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. Okay, those look good. Now I'm going to go to elements and I'm gonna add a circle because I want them to know that this is a digital download. So I'm gonna go to text, add a heading, and I'm just gonna type in digital download. Let's move that here and I'm going to use this font. Okay, that looks good. I'm just going to copy, so Command-C, and then I'm going to paste it 
into the other two as well. All right, now I'm just going to download all of these as JPEG files. If you're getting value from this video so far, please hit the like button and let me know in the comments what kind of printables you currently sell. The last thing I want to show you before we hop on to Etsy is you can see I've saved all five PDFs. So this one is the four by five ratio. I've got the three by four ratio two by three ratio, and then I've got my 11 by 14 inches, and then five by seven inches. So I'm going to compress this folder. So basically I'm going to offer it as a zipped folder. Now hop on to shop manager in your Etsy shop and go to add a listing on the top right here. And the first step is to add your photos. So I've already created my mock-ups, so I'm just going to add those in. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm just going to add the size chart in as well so that the customer knows what they're getting. So I'm going to add this in here. So now they know that this is a digital download and includes five high quality PDF files. And then it shows them all the sizes that they're getting. So I'm gonna go down here. You can add a video. I do have a video for some of mine, but I haven't created one for this one just yet. Now the title, this is where keywords are really important because Etsy is a search engine and the better your keywords are, the more of a chance you have in getting found. So I've already created a title here and I'm going to copy and paste it in and I'm going to explain how I got all of these words. So I put in a long tail keyword phrase. So basically it's just a very descriptive keyword phrase of my listing. So I've put in, I am enough, self-love, positive affirmation, printable wall art. And then I've also put in botanical, printable, mindfulness gift for positive energy and self-care. So you're probably wondering where the heck did I get these keywords? There's two ways that I try to find the best keywords for my new listings. One is I will actually go onto Etsy and I will search up quote unquote, my competitors, and I will see what they're using in their title. Now, I don't just copy and paste what they're using because sometimes their keywords are not that great or they're not very relevant to my actual item, but I will still go in to get an idea of what they're using and then I'll, I'll make note of that and then I'll use ones that are similar or just more relevant. So I actually just searched positive affirmations on Etsy and then I would go in, I would click on some of these that are similar to mine and I would see what they're using in their title. Okay, so that's one. The second way is I go into Marmalade. So Marmalade is an Etsy keyword search tool that I use. Now I go into detail on how to use Marmalade in this video here. So I recommend you go watch that next. I'll link it down below for you. And I also have a 14 day free trial link for you to try Marmalade for yourself. And the more descriptive you can get in your title and tags, the better. So of course you wanna fill in as much as possible of the title. I still have a few characters left, but I'm happy with that. So I'm going to now go through the listing. So who made it? I did a finished product, let's put the year. And then for this, I'm going to uh, put under category digital prints. So for primary color, um, it's a pink and secondary, I'll put black. And then I'm gonna select vertical and unframed here. And then for home style, um, let's do contemporary. So I'm gonna leave occasion and celebration blank for now. Uh, and then you can select up to five rooms that this printable could be in. So I'm gonna select bedroom, uh, let's do dorm, bathroom and office. Uh, let's do living room too, sure. Uh, and then let's do for subject, I'll put in uh, inspirational saying, let's do love and friendship and then phrase and saying. And then this, I put in automatic renewal option because I hate having to manually renew it. So I just keep it at automatic and then I will put in a digital product. So that's really, really important. Make sure you click digital. Now for your description, I'm going to copy and paste my description and I will explain um, kind of what I recommend putting in your description. So I have a whole video highlighting why the description is so important and actually breaking it down step-by-step step in this video. You can also watch that next, but I will quickly run through it here. So I like to put in uh, some keywords within the first couple of sentences. So I've already put in looking for self-love, affirmation, printable wall art to manifest your goals and focus on self-care. This digital print is for you. So um, this helps you get found in Google 
Google search if you include keywords in the very beginning. And then I lay out exactly what they receive. So I put it all into sections. So I put in what you will receive. And then I've mentioned that it's five high quality PDF files. And I always like to add in additional options. So I'll put in other listings that are very similar to this one in my shop if they wanted to add it to their cart or they want an alternative. So again, you can check out the Etsy listing description video um, to get more details on this. So now I'm going to put this in a section and I'm going to put it in positive affirmations. If you don't have any sections yet, you can just click on add a section. Um, it's really good to have sections in your shop just so that it's easy for the customer to navigate through. So I'm gonna select positive affirmations. And then for tags, I highly recommend using all 13 tags. Now I've already created them, so I'm going to copy and paste them into here. You do wanna repeat some of the super relevant ones in your title. And then again, you wanna use competitor research and some sort of keyword search tool like Marmalade to get the best tags. So I'm going to copy and paste mine into here. Again, your tags are really important because it's going to help you get found in Etsy's search engine. Okay, so we're gonna set the price. I'm gonna put this at $5 and then I'm going to put quantity of a hundred. And then this is where you upload your digital files. So like I mentioned, I've created a zipped folder. So I'm going to upload my zipped folder. And I get a lot of questions on what if the zipped folder is over 20 megabytes, because that's the maximum you can put into, or you can upload into Etsy. So what I recommend is create a document with like a, a Dropbox link or something like that, that directs the customer to that and then they can upload it onto their computer. That's if you can't reduce the size of your files without compromising the quality. So there is another file that I always upload for the customer to receive as well. And that's an instructions file because I've gotten a lot of questions before I uploaded this on how they print, where they take it to print. So basically I took all of those questions and answered them all in this document. So um, it's just a PDF instructions document that basically tells them what to do when they receive their zipped folder. And then it just lays out the sizes again for them. And then I tell them how they can print from home, print at a local store and print online. So you don't have to do this, but it is a nice touch and I've gotten positive reviews because of this. So um, that's a little pro tip for you there. And there it is right there. So I don't have to do anything if the customer purchases it because Etsy will automatically send the zipped folder and that PDF instructions that I've already uploaded. Now to increase the price per order, I would create other listings with maybe three prints or like a set of four or something like that so that I can increase it to, let's say $15, $20, if you're looking for ways to, again, increase the price per order. If you are working on your printable shop, you can grab my free checklist from the description box below. I also have an Etsy a digital product seller workbook that will help you get started on the right track. Make sure to sign up for Creative Fabrica using the link down below to get your first seven days for only $1. After that, it does renew for $19 per month and you get unlimited access to all of these fonts and graphics. You can cancel at any time. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and be sure to head over to this video next where I show you where you can sell your printables on another platform that I'm also currently using. So I'll see you there.